Upper Dominguez, Lonely Boxing here with another edition of our previews now. Before I begin, you already know. Like, share, leave a comment, mainly subscribe. That's the most important part. Uh, now, what's that? This? Oh, check it out. It's the official and Vivo podcast uh, shirts. Available soon. More details on that to come. Now, it's my favorite, favorite holiday. It's Canelo Fight Week, baby. Oh, yeah. He's moving up two weight divisions to take on uh, Sergey Crusher Kovalev at the light heavyweight division. Only five boxers in the history of boxing have gone from middleweight, 160 pounds, to 175 pounds to win a belt. Bernard Hopkins, Roy Jones Jr., Thomas Hearns, Sugar Ray Leonard, and Bob Fitzsimmons. That's some elite company that Canelo's trying to join. Um, also, if he wins. Now, that's a big if because Sergey Crusher Kovalev is no pushover now. A lot of people, you know, because it's Canelo, you know, he, he's, uh, he, no matter what he does, he's going to catch hate. And just like LeBron, just like Tom Brady, just like, hell, just like Landon Donovan, when you become the face of a sport, when you become a superstar crossing over into the mainstream medium and a household name, you're going to bring the haters. It's a given. You're not doing something right if you don't have haters now. But that said, let me get back to the point. If he wins, he'll only be he'll be the uh, uh, second Mexican to ever win a belt at the light heavyweight division. The other, the other being Julio Cesar Gonzalez. Now, I want to go ahead and start with some of the uh, the strengths and weaknesses of Sergey Crusher Kovalev. Now, Sergey Crusher Kovalev is 36 years old. He's from Russia. He's six feet tall, 72 and a half inch reach. He's 34, three and one. Uh, he's box. He's the current. He's the WBO light heavyweight champ. Now, one of his biggest strengths, and it's the most obvious one, it's the power. They don't call him Crusher for no reason. He's won all but five of his fights by knockout. That's good for 76% uh, KO ratio. And that's impressive because as the level of competition goes up, the uh, knockouts are harder to come by because the guys are just, uh, are just better at the elite division. Um, now, and I say this with all due respect to Roman Simikov's family. Uh, rest in peace. He was in a fight very early on with Crusher Kovalev in their careers. They, uh, after Kovalev won, a few days later, Roman uh, passed away. And uh, rest in peace, boxing lost a great warrior that day. And that just goes to show you the power that some of these light heavyweights have. Canelo's a very small middleweight. And uh, that's good. it's gonna be, it's, it's, a, it's a very dangerous dangerous fight for Canelo. Another, another uh, huge strength that Kovalev has is his jab. Kovalev has one of the best jabs in the game. I don't care who it is or who it is. Kovalev has a very lethal, strong jab. It's uh, it's dropped many good men. It dropped John Pascal, and it even stopped Anthony Yard in Kovalev's last fight to give him uh, the victory. Um, so watch out for that for that lethal jab. It might be difficult for Canelo to try to get inside. Um, and also another strength, Kovalev is a natural light heavyweight. He's fought there for his entire career. Canelo is a small middleweight as it is, attempting to move up. Uh, there's weight divisions for a reason, as we saw with Mikey Garcia and Earl Spence. This might not go too well for Canelo, just with the sheer size difference is, uh, is significant for Kovalev. Now, I want to touch on some of his weaknesses. One of his biggest weaknesses that got him caught and uh, one of his losses is that he relaxes after he throws that lethal jab. He's good at throwing it, but always, sometimes always not good at bringing it back to guard his face. Uh, Alvarez picked up on that in the seventh round, dropped him, and then stopped him a few rounds later. So that that jab is very is uh, he has to bring up because if somebody as sharp as Canelo will definitely pick up on that. Uh, and also his biggest weakness, and it's it's no secret, uh, Kovalev cannot take the body punches too well. Um, his ex trainer, and I'm, I'm calling this a very scumbag move, spilled the beans on that. He, uh, and it's it's very it's very douchey to reveal some of your ex fighters' uh, uh, weaknesses, but he did. He said that Kovalev is not is soft around the solar plex area, and um, that might maybe because Kovalev does love to drink. He loves um, he loves the alcohol, so that's uh, that's a big detriment if if if, uh, if Kovalev cannot handle the body shots that Canelo's going to be bringing now. I want to go ahead and touch on uh, Canelo, Saul Canelo Alvarez. He's 29 years old. 
He's 52, 1 and 2, 35 knockouts. Uh, he stands 5 foot 8, 70 and a half inch reach. Um, 29 years old from Guadalajara, Mexico. He's fought 391 rounds. That's a lot of rounds for a 29 year old. Now I want to start with his strengths. His biggest strength is his counter punching ability. Canelo is a natural counter puncher. But unlike other counter punchers, Canelo is aggressive. He comes forward. He trusts his defense and he trusts his Grand Knight chin. So he's hard to hit. And when you throw a punch, there's going to be one coming right back at you. That's what Canelo does. Another huge strength that Canelo has is his defense. He is, uh, and he's worked on that because when he first started out, his head movement wasn't very well. And, and now it's, it's great. The, the way he moves around, he's always uh, moving his head, moving his body. His footwork is amazing. He's, um, he's Canelo's elite. He's got great counterpunch ability, great defense. And probably one of the biggest uh, strengths that Canelo has is he's a veteran of the bright lights. He's the face of the boxing. He's the cash cow. He's, gonna, he's used to it. He's been there, done that. Kovil has been in big fights, but he hasn't seen anything like like Canelo or the media or attention out of it and I sometimes can bring you some nervous uh, some nervous energy now now I want to touch on some of the weaknesses that Canelo has his biggest weakness is his stamina um, it's no secret that he uh, has stamina issues in his fight with Golovkin in his first fight he spent a lot of time on the ropes and that's a, that's a sign that you're kind of uh, you're, you're gassed a little bit you're trying to catch a break uh, he fought well off the ropes but he was exhausted um now, another one of his, uh, and I, I keep coming back to this, but it, because it's 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 real, it's a very big uh, disadvantage that he has is the size, the sheer size that Kovalev has over him. Uh, he's going to be bigger, he's going to be stronger than him. So, uh, man, that's 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 uh, big, and those two those two right there, stamina and the size, um, they can they can be, play key roles in determining the winner of this fight. Now the pick. Oh, hey, look at that. Shirt changed. <laughs> if you couldn't tell by my shirt, yes. I do believe Canelo's going to take this. I can see him uh, either winning a unanimous decision or stopping him in the later rounds via body shots. The championship rounds if Kovalev can't handle the, uh, the body work from Canelo because it's, it's going to come. Now, I want to say this too. And listen to me. Listen very carefully. If Canelo wins this, big if, he will be... Mexico's greatest champion. Now, I know, I know, a lot of everybody automatically, the volada, el gran campeón, Julio Cesar Chavez, um, he was great. I mean, what can you say about him? But if can, a, a good case can be made that Canelo is the greatest Mexican champion now. So if he wins this, goes up and, and beats Kovalev, a bigger, stronger man, the conversation's over. Canelo. Is the greatest Mex will be the Mex the Mexico's greatest champion if he wins. Now, there you have it, baby. The pick Canelo by body stoppage. Now, be sure to check out our podcast episodes uh, 12 and 13 dropped. Go to Google Podcast, Ditch Podcast, Apple Podcast. Download the app, search, click, uh, type in Long Live Boxing and Vivo. There you go. Uh, we greatly appreciate any and all the support. Uh, tell us how we're doing, even if you think we suck. Hey. Let us know about it, man. We'll try to do better. Hopper out.